What's up, guys? This is Matt Watson coming to you from his van in Down Under. Uh, people live in vans for all different reasons. You know, some people just want a uh, cheap way to travel. Other people looking for an alternative lifestyle. Some even are on the run from their government for crimes they can't prove they didn't commit. Whatever the reason, van life has obvious benefits. So I figured I'd give you a few benefits that I didn't expect. What's comedy? What? You got some comedy? Huh? You want a comedy? It's Matt Watson comedy! You guys probably heard that saying before, the early bird gets the worm. I've, I've always hated that saying because like, I don't, I don't want worms, you know? You, you know who likes worms? Uh, meerkats, warthogs, and lions running from their past, okay? The worms, you can have them. I'm going to sleep in and have Eggs Benedict for brunch. But here's the thing, when you're living in a van, you're very dependent on the outdoor elements. Therefore, when the sun comes up, you're getting up too. But that's actually a good thing because the sooner that your body gets up and hits that sunlight, the more serotonin your body's gonna release. That's the happy hormone. And then, because you got up early, you're gonna be going to sleep when the sun goes down, which is when your body releases melatonin, which is gonna help you sleep. You get better sleep, you're gonna feel better, you're gonna be more productive, you're gonna feel more satisfied, you're gonna be happier. And while we're on the topic of getting a great night's sleep, every traveler knows that if you're on a long journey, at some point, you're gonna miss your own bed. Why is that? I'll tell you why. You get your best sleep there because you're most comfortable, and that is why van life is amazing. You're literally combining travel with your own bedroom. How amazing is that? Van lifers are basically that vagabond that's holding a stick over his shoulder that's got a handkerchief holding all of his belongings. But instead of a handkerchief, it's a van. All right, so everybody knows that living in a van, you're gonna save money. It makes sense. You're not paying rent, you're not paying a mortgage, you're sleeping in your stupid car. But here's the thing, it actually saves you money in every aspect of your life. Because when you live in a tiny space like this, you can't just go to the mall and have impulse buys. You can't just be like, hey, I really want that, that leopard print ottoman that I just saw right there. And also, oh man, Man, it's got a matching vanity mirror that comes with it. It's a set. Oh, I must have that. As well as, uh, you know, whatever hat I think I need because Pharrell Williams wore it. Look, you can only buy crap if you have a place to put it. It's that easy. I think I just solved every episode of Hoarders. Here's another cool, weird perk about van life. It's actually gotten me in the best shape I've ever been in my life. And here's why. Uh, this has happened multiple times if I'm in a house because it's just too comfortable there. I don't have to go anywhere to work out. There's no commitment to the workout. So many times in a house I would like uh, get my get my headband on, my, my little booty shorts, roll out my yoga mat, lay down on it, get ready to go. Then when I wake up from a nap, I'd roll the yoga mat back up and get on with my day. A lot of urban van dwellers, such as myself, have gym passes because they need a place to shower. And here's the thing, because you go all the way to the gym to shower, you may as well pick some stuff up and put it back down again. If you're paying for a gym membership and only using the showers, that's like getting a pass for an amusement park and only eating the cotton candy. Ride the roller coaster, stupid. And my final surprise benefit, and this is probably my favorite, appreciation appreciation for little things that's what living a simple lifestyle like this does because people take stuff for granted like uh, someone in a house won't think about their shower every day when they use it in the morning if some if, if you're a van dweller like me and you've stayed in this kind of environment for an extended period of time and you get to use somebody's shower and it's got a steady hot water flow blows your mind blows your mind you appreciate that wonderful moment of just being in that hot, constantly hot shower. Even just like a home cooked meal. I was at my friend's house the other day and I was just raving about the food. Oh, and it came to dessert. Uh, they handed me this pudding and like they they were giving me weird looks because I was like being like, oh, it's so rich. It's just darn right decadent. And they're like, Matt, that's, that's a store bought pudding you're eating. It's in a plastic container. Why are you enjoying it? Like Meg Ryan does her, her turkey sandwich at the diner in what Harry met Sally. I'll have what she's having. But that's what van life does. Van life lets you wander the globe having what she's having. Come on. Hey guys, thanks again for watching. As always, because you've watched this far, you're already supporting me. But if you want to go a little bit extra, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. That way you'll know when I upload next week's video. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you next week.